Hey girls, I was doing a little bit of spring cleaning and I found this canister that I bought for some type of project. I cannot remember what project it was, but I found it. So this was essentially just a glass canister that I started out with intentions of painting white and it has like the top to it, it has like one of these little bamboo kind of square, uh, circular tops. And so when you put it in there, it just kind of squeezes down in there. Okay, my point to this was when I saw it though this time, I thought I can make a Ray, a faux Ray Dunn canister out of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going with painting it white. I'll also link some different options for you that you can find that are glass canisters that are kind of similar to this because I cannot remember for the life of me where I got this. So I'm gonna put some links um, also in the in the description as well as you may see some things popping up on the screen right now that'll show you some different options you can use. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a can of white spray paint and we're gonna paint uh, this, both of these things right here, the canister and the lid. And then I have another little piece that we're gonna put on top of it. And before you know it, we're gonna have a faux Ray Dunn canister. You ready? Girls, I found these knobs at Hobby Lobby. These are actually left over from an old craft project. I'm gonna try to get the package, uh, get a picture of the package so you know what I'm talking about. But they're little knobs, and um, I found it on the wood blanks out at, at Hobby Lobby. And what I'm gonna do is paint this white, and then I'm gonna attach it to the top of my canister that I just painted, and then it's gonna make it look even more like a faux redone canister. All right, so I went in on my silhouette and I made a couple of kind of skinny looking Ray Dunn uh, word, a word, the word honey to go on top of my sign. And I included also a really cute little uh, bumblebee on there. So it's gonna say honey bee. Now I'm gonna leave a uh, drop a uh, file that you can use for free if you have a silhouette or a Cricut. You can have this file and you can put it on your own canister. Just make sure to go to the description and grab the link to go grab it on my website. And so I'm just gonna take some um, transfer paper and I'm going to adhere this little sticker, it's like a decal, to my um, canister. And the good thing about this is that if I wanna change this out to go with another theme, I can always go in and cut out a new little uh, decal and put it on there. This, I mean, you can change it out anytime you want to. So there we go, we got a cute little honeybee sign. Now what I'm gonna do is attach the knob to the top, which is gonna be kind of like the uh, canister, that'll go on the canister top. I'm gonna use some hot glue as well as some super glue. I like to use Loctite glue. And then I'm just gonna press it on there and we will have our canister to go on our tiered tray. And like I said, you can use this for multiple seasons. I'm just using it right now for my honey bee. Uh, B tier tray and this can go not only on tier trays, but it can go on a shelf on a mantle wherever you would like to put it Isn't it cute? So I made some printables some B printables to go along with this cute little canister I'm gonna take some canvases that I got from Target. You can also get them from Dollar Tree I'm going to use some black paint I'm also going to use some scissors to cut up my printable. Now these printables are just things that you can um, you can download them on my website. Um, they're in the printable section and you can print them out on your printer and attach them to any wood surface. And right now I'm using a canvas though, so any surface really with a little bit of Mod Podge and you will have a nice sign, a DIY sign that you can add to your tier tray decor. So I'm gonna paint this canvas black. Uh, the edges because I want it to kind of look like a wood sign even though it's even though it's canvas uh, the look that I'm going for is a wood sign so I'm gonna paint that black and then I'm gonna cut out my printable like I said I printed out this printable from home but you can always go to somewhere like UPS and print it out they're super cute they are uh, black uh, buffalo chick and they have the wording be our guest as well as welcome to our hive it's gonna be really cute. So I'm just gonna dry, uh, make sure that my paint is dry. And then I'm gonna take my favorite tool of all times, Mod Podge, everybody needs Mod Podge. I'm gonna put some on the back of the printable and then I'm going to attach it to my sign. Just kind of lay it on there and press it down, making sure that it's secure. 
I'm going to use like a little scraper to kind of push it down a little bit more. And then I'm going to put Mod Podge around the edges and a little thin layer on top. If you're printing from home, sometimes your printer ink can run. So don't put too much Mod Podge on the top if you're printing from home. You just need a little bit on there to seal. And sometimes I don't even do that. So there is that. All right. So I'm almost done with this. So if you have made it this far in the video, you guys are awesome. Do me a huge favor and down in the comments, write your favorite B adjective, whether it be be kind, be happy, be sweet, uh, be our guest, just be. Drop those in the comments. And I would also love it if you would hit the subscribe button if you're watching me on YouTube or like my page if you're watching me over on Facebook. All right, now that we have our canister and our woods and our cute little signs, we can go ahead and decorate. So I'm gonna take those signs in the canister and as well as some items that I got from TJ Maxx and Home Goods and Hobby Lobby, and we're gonna decorate. I am double stacking these really cute little cutting boards that I got from Hobby Lobby, not Hobby Lobby, but TJ Maxx. You can't really tell, but that um, cutting board has like a um, honeycomb pattern on it, which I thought looked really cute. I also have some pillows that we made in another DIY, some cups, a queen bee cup. I also have a honey um, a honey pot that I got from Home Goods, and I think it came together well. If you like this video and you like this sign, make sure you give me a thumbs up and a bunch of beads in the comments and let me know if you liked this video. Now, I'm going to think about a couple of other ways that we can style this tray. I think we could put it on a tier tray. Right now it's on like a little shelf, but I think we could put it on a tier tray and maybe even a one tier tray. So here are a couple of ideas of what the ways that I would style this. Here it is on the shelf. And then here we go on a tier tray. And then you can also use it on a one tier tray that you could put like maybe on a desk or a kitchen counter. All right, girls, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Be sure to drop your B adjective in the comments and let me know if you think that this tray is beautiful. Bye, girls.